Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Happy end of the world to you. Although I'm going to do my voiceover tomorrow after I've done this one, just in case. <laughs> okay, so it hasn't ended quite yet, but that's not to say it's not going to. There's plenty of places still on the planet where it's the 21st of December, even though I think it is the 22nd in New Zealand type area, Australia. But who cares? As long as there's some place on the planet where it's the 21st, then the Mayans are cool. <laughs> Anywho, if it is going to be the end of civilization as we know it, then I'd like to go out personally with a wow bang. And the wow bang is Raid Boss 101 Solo Yog Saron. Yeah, there's been a few requests for this. Well, here it is for you. And it's amazing how the fight differs depending on, uh, on what spec you use. I, I initially started using Affliction and I was getting nowhere with it. I mean, seriously. The dot damage was just too low and too slow without trying to sound like a poet. And then I shifted to Destruction, ditched the pet as well. And then lo and behold, this is the kind of damage that I really need. Because this fight isn't so much a DPS race per se, but you do need high DPS to burn things down. It's all a matter of controlling their ads. And this is phase one, where we're killing these Guardians of Yogg Saron, and we have to kill them by Sarah. Because when they explode, they hit her. I think when six of them have hit her, we then go into phase two, which is where Yogg Saron spawns, but is protected by a force field. So we cannot attack him directly and there are three types of i was going to say something rude tentacle <laughs> that spawn in this phase you have the constrictor which will grab you and it must be destroyed you can still cast while it's wiggling around the place but it is the first priority because if you leave it alone you'll just be flying around for bloody ages and then you have the constructor i think it is tentacle that is your second priority. And then final priority is the huge crushers. And look at the debuff that I've got on me that currently says 25. That is my sanity. It starts off at 100. And depending on what attack is leveled at me, it will start to lower my sanity. Some people might argue it's not particularly high anyway. <laughs> but... I have released all four Guardians, because you can release all the four Guardians which you helped save earlier in Old War, and they are providing certain benefits and buffs. And the one that Freya gives you are those greeny lights which shine down. If you stand in there, it will renew your sanity, thankfully. It was, only life was so simple. But when the portals spawn, jump in straight away, and you have to destroy the illusions and then destroy the tentacles behind the illusions while keeping your back to those laughing skulls because there when they hit you you start to lose sanity and it's very important you maintain as much sanity as possible once they're all destroyed it opens the pathway into yogg -Saron's brain now you can see that he's casting induced madness if that gets to full while i'm still in his brain it sounds awful that then I will go instantly insane. He will control me and it will be fight over. But I have to burn it down. I think it's below 35%, even though I went further. And that will start P3. I don't know. So the force field's now dropped from Yogg and he is vulnerable. But I am not going to attack him quite yet because there is other work to do. Firstly, I'm going to maintain my back towards Yogg, because he will now, or it, or sh whatever, it, it's an it, isn't it? It's a thing. It, it will also have that laughing purple skull above its head, and it will fire that purple beam at you, and if you are looking at Yogg, while it hits, then it will start to reduce your sanity. Currently, my sanity is holding at 51. And then we have the immortal guardians, and also the tentacles from where we were before we went into the portal so my priority at the minute is i spawned my pet once i came out of the brain because i wanted a tank to take care of these immortal guardians while i 
We're not getting into an almost perpetual stun lock here. <laughs> Take care of the Corruptor Tentacles and also the Crusher Tentacle, which is still up. Now, the Immortal Guardians, you can't kill them. You can only reduce them down to 1% health. As you saw Yogg purple eyeballing me for a quite a hefty loss of sanity. Once they're at 1%, they'll shrink down to a tiny little size. And then Thorin, God bless him, will throw his hammer and kill them. And then in killing them, the explosion which ensues from that will deal some hefty damage to Yogg. So there's going to be two methods of damage to yogg -Saron. And I'm being very cautious in this phase. And the reason why I'm being very cautious is because it took me a good couple of hours to get this kill. And I just really wanted to make sure that we had a decent one on camera for you. <laughs> Instead of just trying to rush things and maybe losing a little bit too much sanity there. You see I'm down to 31. So what I'm going to do in a moment... Just take care of another of the mortal guardians now that all the tentacles are taken care of. And then I've positioned my demonic teleportation device to zap me to one of Freya's insanity increasing devices. <laughs> I, I, I must sound ridiculous with what I'm saying right now. <laughs> but there we go. I've got my sanity back up to 96. So I, I'll be in absolutely no trouble for the rest of the fight. I have been in this situation before. What I did is I ignored the Immortal Guardians and then just tried to burn down Yogg. Now Yogg still does a hefty... He still has a hefty amount of health left. It looks small, but believe me, it's pretty hefty. And if too many of the Immortal Guardians spawn in, they will absolutely pummel me. I mean, seriously, pummel me. Only needs about three or four and I start to take some massive massive damage but now that I'm completely and utterly on top of things it's literally one immortal guardian at a time I can now get them down to one percent of the health Thorin can finish them and I can turn around and still do some damage to Yogg while maintaining a very healthy sanity pool of currently 76 so it's going down a little bit but I'm doing all right so it's all about just being a little bit cautious. I know we love just to go, DPS. But sometimes, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. But Yogg is just about had his day. But this means I've completed the whole of Olduar when Yogg dies, which he's going to do very soon, including Alagon the Observer, which I also recorded as well. And those of you wondering how I killed Thorim, I think I will probably record that on my next reset. It involves some serious jiggery-pokery that only a couple of classes can manage to get away with. But it'll be interesting to see. So, Yogg, you're on the verge, Sunshine. You're on the verge. I think this one Immortal Guardian and you oh, didn't even have to kill it because he was down. So there we go, solo Yogg Saron. Took around nine minutes, all in all, eight to nine minutes, but uh, great fun. For those of you who want to see, I will loot the boss. There's some people that get very angry if they don't see the loot. <laughs> but there you go. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If the end of the world doesn't come around, of course. Please do also follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook. I really do need your support on both of those and i shall be back apocalypse willing with more stuff very soon you take care everybody bye bye